Happy Wednesday, writers. Today for writing workshop, you're going to need your notebook, glue stick, pencil, highlighters, and your green ELA resource folder. When you open up your green resource folder, you're going to pull out the next two half pages that say opinion writing first draft paragraph two, and then opinion writing first draft paragraph three. The remaining pages you're going to keep still tucked into your folder so you can have them for Thursday. Close your folder, keep it inside your anchor binder and put your anchor binder back in your basket. Then go ahead to your notebook. We're gonna open up to yesterday's lesson where we had focused on um, creating our introduction um, to our prompt that was which type of costume is better, store-bought or homemade. Remember that you were not to tell me what is your favorite costume and why, your focus for our writing of this essay is either store-bought being the better types of costumes or homemade types of costumes would be best. You need to make sure that you read the prompt carefully and listen to the directions so you are not wasting your time and having to go back and to um, redo your sentences that you've completed. Remember, in your engaging beginning, you don't actually state the words, this is my engaging beginning, because that is not what a good writer does. They use creative ways to show um, interesting ways to grab their reader by providing a question related to the topic, giving me a shocking statement of information or facts that would leave my reader wanting to um, learn more about this topic, giving me um, a significant quote, or onomatopoeia, simile, we said using figurative language. The second sentence you were asked to create was stating the topic and opinion. Once again, you're not saying my topic is which type of costume is best. You are using a creative way to state the best type of costume is, and then telling me which one you chose. And then you can um, then declare the three reasons as the final portion of your introduction. Remember, this meant three separate sentences, each one focused on a reason why either store-bought was the best type of costume or homemade being the best type of costume. Today, we're gonna continue on with the same exact prompt, but now we're focusing on how to elaborate and to tell more about our reasons. So we're gonna turn our page and we're going to record the number 40 in the top left because we're going to be using the left page and the right page today. So before we begin, turn back to your table of contents. We're gonna write number 40 in the table of contents. And once again, we're gonna write, this is our opinion essay. We're focusing on the costume but this time we're going to be talking about the details slash reasons. Today's date is 10-21-20. So once you have written in your table of contents, go ahead, turn back to today's page, which is page 40. Once again, the pages that we're gonna be using are not going to be glued um, as is. We have to do some um, cutting first. So each one of these has its own separate page. So the one that says number two is gonna go on the left page. The one that says number three is gonna go on the right. Before you glue it down, you need to turn them to the side and cut on the dotted lines. So you're creating the flaps to open up to write our sentences. We're gonna cut first for both and then we'll glue, glue down at the same time. So once again, cut on the dotted lines. Now using my glue stick, I'm gonna use my glue stick the way I did yesterday. So looking at the four flaps, the top one is the title. So on the back side of the title, I'm gonna glue that entirely down and then along the back of the margin. So go ahead and use your glue stick the same way. Turn it over, and once again, the title, the top of the sheet goes on the top line before the white space. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the page that says paragraph three. Only the top section gets glue stick, 
and then the margin along the side. There we go. So we are still focusing on that prompt, which type of costume is the best type of costume to have, a store-bought costume or one that is made at home, so a homemade one. So yesterday you were asked to provide me with three supporting reasons you chose store-bought or homemade. Today you're going to pick your favorite two or the two that you feel like you have the most that you can say about it. So when you've chosen the two that you want, go back and put stars next to the two you like best. Those two ideas are what you're going to then transfer by rewriting them at the top of your two paragraphs. So your reason number one is going to be written right here. Reason number two is going to be written right here. Those are now going to become your topics for your two detailed or two reason paragraphs. Once you have your reasons written down, you are then going to create some supporting information. So going into more depth or giving me more details about why your reason is important for the type of costume that you chose. So behind the supporting fact or detail number one, you're gonna open up the flap. You're going to tell me the first detail that supports this reason. Then you're gonna close it. The next one, before you uh, write your second supporting fact, you're going to create a linking word. And if you remember, we had a list of linking words. If you go back to our small book reference book, if you uh, flip through at the back, the one that says number six, use linking words, you're gonna choose one of the linking words to fill in the box. So once you decide what your next supporting detail is going to be, use a linking word, write it in the box, because you're going to use that at the beginning of this second supporting fact for your first reason. Once you're done, then find a second linking word, record it from the list, open up this flap, and you're going to write your last supporting fact of this first reason. So remember, if you had a reason that, let's say you like store-bought because it was more um, creative or it was giving you more variation on the variety of costumes you could choose. Well, you can give me examples of what kind of variety of costumes can you find in the store or even the amount of different stores that you can look at and find costumes at. So Target and Walmart and um, that Halloween store. So you have lots of information you should be able to pull from and support the reason of why you chose either homemade or store-bought. Your second reason for choosing homemade or store-bought, you should have written at the top now with your second reason, you're going to come up with three supporting facts or details. So once again, you're going to open up your first door, write your first supporting fact or detail. The second door, you're going to use a different linking word from the list in the small book. Open up the second door, record your second supporting fact or detail for the second reason. And then you're gonna find a final linking word and list your third and final supporting fact or detail for the second reason. So today you are going to use what you've done yesterday from that final door, come up with your favorite two reasons. You are going to write those reasons on the top of each of your pages. Then you're going to come up with three supporting fact or details about the reason for each page. So they should not be the same information on both pages. These are two different reasons. Remember the last two flaps on each page should have different linking words from your small book. So today you're going to come up with four pictures or even three pictures. I wanna see the front of both of these pages so I can look at your linking words and your reasons. Then you need to go ahead and open up your flaps and take a nice clear picture of those supporting reasons. Don't open up both at once because then your flaps will cover up your work. 
you will not get points if I cannot read your work because for writing, I need to be able to see, are you writing down the correct information? And if not, I need to be able to give you some suggestions or give corrections um, as needed. So remember, you're coming up with your two reason paragraphs today.